Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So I added a new section in my Geometry Nodes course about uh, generating trees that are animated like this. This video is just going to be a breakdown of uh, that uh, process just to show you the nodes uh, that you could use to make something like this. But you can also get the project file on my Gumroad page and my Patreon. Links are going to be in the description. Yeah, the detailed step-by-step -step version of this is going to be in my Master Geometry Nodes course. I've created a new section. It has about six videos. You can see the process uh, I, I go through all the steps uh, this is the tree we end up making so let me let me just take you through the project file here and the great thing about this is that uh, you can see how the branches are growing out of older branches and uh, you can see how that looks the smaller branches grow from these bigger branches and uh, then the leaves also grow from that everything is customizable this is uh, the setup so the way i made the tree is uh, by just starting with a curve i drew like this then instanced that curve onto a circle to have multiple curves uh, like this because i wanted uh, multiple branches as well realized these instances into real curve geometry and uh, then i wanted each branch to grow a little bit different so i added some random rotation to make them grow a bit differently from there i added a gravitational effect uh, so if i wanted the tree to grow taller i can set the gravity to be up if i want them to grow down i get uh, the gravity down uh, i basically set up a gravity node group that just takes in the curve object and then uses the curve length uh, to bend the curve according to the direction I want. These branches are all the same. They have the same settings. Uh, that's why you see that I'm, I'm creating I'm, I'm creating node groups uh, that can be reused in other areas. Here uh, I added another I created another node group uh, that added some noise uh, to the branches uh, so I can make these branches more deformed or less deformed i wanted some of the branches to be shorter others to be longer uh, that's why i used this trim trim curve with a random value to get that randomization uh, then this trim uh, trim curve was for the animating of uh, the branches uh, let me use cycles here because it will show you the final thing so you can see those trees and uh, the gravity let's go to the last frame here uh, if i add more gravity you can see i can make these more bent uh this is for the noise these settings are only for the main branches here uh so uh, then i can mesh the curves into a tree trunk with some twists uh to make it look more detailed as you can see this is my meshing uh node node group uh, that has everything uh, from setting up the radius uh the number of res the resolution of the trunk uh, the twists and displacement of the trunk and everything and uh, this node group is going to be used over and over for all the branches and uh, the sub branches i'm going to be using uh, same with the noise and gravity so after this stream i have another node group for generating new branches uh, you can see it just generates the branches over uh, from the old branches uh, if i take a look at these are the old branches and uh, then i generate some extra branches from that I then add my noise group uh, which is basically this here with a, a few slight changes in the settings here and then add gravity to make it go down or go up and you can see even uh, as it updates in the view there so i can make it go up or go down just like that uh, this node group i think has a resolution setting uh, yeah so there is some up. so if i want more resolution or less i can also do that and again i have a trim factor here to trim to animate uh, the curve to animate the curve and the great thing about this is that uh, these branches are only generated if the old ones are generated so if we don't have uh, the old ones generated the new ones won't generate so you don't end up with any floating uh, branches uh, so this was the end of the second secondary branches uh, generation i remesh them using the same node but uh, with a few settings different settings so that's why you see we have the same twists uh, same uh, stuff and uh, if i join that you see i have the trunks and then uh, the primary branches so let me get this this growth uh, and then uh, so basically this setup just ends here 
and uh, everything else is just repeating the same thing uh, i'm using the same node group to generate branches actually i should call it uh, branch generation so this generates new branches from the old branches uh, or from the primary branches so these are our secondary branches and again they're just simple branches i add uh, noise just like that and then gravity to make them either grow up or grow down like that let's go to the final thing here so i can make them grow up which i think also makes an interesting uh, tree or i can make them grow down just like that and this let's see yeah so just like that i'm repeating over and over the same thing so after these these smaller branches and uh, if i join them to the older branches you can see we already have something that looks interesting i think a tree like this can work for a horror scene I th it would just look uh, great i think if you make it a bit darker and maybe if i bring the light down you can see ah this even looks better just take a look at uh, that but i want to see everything so i'm going to bring back uh, the sun i needed more branches for the flowers um so this i add more branches again because these are too small i didn't use the noise butter you can use that as well uh then i added some gravity yeah for for this uh, the gravity was uh, was enough to add the deformation i needed uh then i, I animated the trim then remeshed and joined back to the mesh one other thing I, feature I added to this tree generator is the you can decide where you want the, the trees to the branches to start so i can start them a little bit late and uh, let me bring this gravity to be a bit up and uh, you can even play with the rotation of uh, these branches these settings are the same for everything else so if i go back a step further a step back i uh, can see how these branches are starting off a bit late i can start them a bit earlier so uh, just like that and uh, maybe bring the gravity a bit up and play with the rotation as well so there's a ton of settings it's the same thing repeated over and over so these branches the our primary branches can also start a little bit earlier uh, so yeah just like that and everything after it will just work fine and uh, uh, if we take a look at uh, maybe these uh i don't know this here if i don't want them to start at the tip i can just play with the end selection and you can see uh, i get something like this so i borrowed some of these tricks from speed tree because i used to play around with speed tree and uh, this is how you generate trees in speed tree so i borrowed some of that functionality into this generator and you can generate the leaves are uh, from uh, these twigs i think that's what they're called you join them to uh you join them to the other branches and everything and then uh, instanced in some leaves i also instanced in some leaves being blown away so let me first pause this yeah so you can see that uh, some leaves are being blown away and that's a simple simulation so the way i set that up is i go to these branches here distribute a few points on them and uh, have the seed change per frame so you can see what we have and then set up this simulation zone where i can simulate a particle system with wind blowing and uh, and then instance uh, the flowers on top of that that's how i managed to get that wind blowing effect and uh, end up with the animation you see so yeah if you want this project this project file is a new section in my master geometry nodes course but if you don't want to take the entire course i'm also going to be uploading the project file on my gumroad page including this section so if you want just look at the section uh, that is going to be available with the project file and the section on gumroad but i really like udemy because you can ask questions directly to me and i'll be answering them uh, as you can see that uh, there are already people asking questions and i'm answering them uh, immediately so yeah if you want to check check this out links are going to be in the description thank you for watching see you in the next video